Joining us for KRK4 News at 5, I'm Ashley Ketz. The owner of a local car dealership is out more than $40,000 after two thieves tricked the salesperson into handing over the keys to a brand new Jeep. Our Michael Esparza visited with police to find out more. A lot of questions tonight, Michael. That's right, Ashley. Police say this all happened at the Riser Dodger in Hot Springs when two people using false identifications purchased a brand new 2020 Jeep Gladiator. A brand new car makes a great Christmas gift for yourself. But what if you didn't buy it? Instead, someone pretending to be you did. Uh, we had two suspects who actually went to the local dealership, used a f false identity of another person to actually purchase a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Police say an employee at Riser Dodge in Hot Springs reported the theft of a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. The two suspects, 59-year-old Della Mendez and 57-year-old Aldo Roberto Trevino, walked into the dealership and paid for the vehicle pretending to be someone else. Spotted the vehicle driving down the road, made a traffic stop in that vehicle. It's being called a non-traditional car theft. Traditionally think of a theft of a vehicle, someone jumping in and taking off. Actually, this was uh, through an identity theft. Having stolen not only your identity, but sense of security for one consumer, now a victim who lives more than a thousand miles away. The name that they were using, they contacted that person. This person had never been to Arkansas and actually found that uh, Mr. Trevino had been using his identity for over eight months. Janet Robb, the president of the Better Business Bureau of Arkansas, says people need to look closer at their finances, especially in today's digital age. It's really hard to know if someone's using your information to go get credit for something. Preventable? Well, maybe not. It can be devastating, which is why we really encourage everyone to protect your personal information, protect your financial information. But taking cautious measures to better protect oneself. You can also do a fraud alert through the three credit bureaus. Before the next victim is you. You don't know who's taking your identity and who may be pretending to be you and can ruin your credit for years to come. Investigators have contacted the victim who lives in Florida. He's working with Capital One Loan Department to help restore his credit. One of the suspects has also been charged with failing to register as a sex offender here in Arkansas. Back to you, Ashley. All right, Michael.